in our Palm Desert location where I have an ideal protein clinic. And Dee is coming from Medicine Hat, Alberta, where she is a coach at Red Cliff Pharmasave. So um, today, in keeping with life, we are going to be talking about boosting veggies. So if you are on Live, give us a hashtag live. And uh, if you're in the replay, give us a hashtag replay. Um, today, we are going to be sharing a, a document uh, that was put out by Ideal Protein. And it is called T Tips for Low Carb COVID 19 Preparedness. And basically, it's just a lot of tips on um you know what to what to be looking for things that, that uh, last long term and and uh, easy things to stock your pantry with if you're interested in that all you have to do is type in tips or tip and uh you are welcome to uh you'll get a, a note in your facebook messenger and that will tell you how to download those tips so if you're interested in tips for covid 19 um, we would love to share those with you. So just type in the comment section tips. All right, Dee, uh, tell us a little bit about uh, what's happening in the hat, how you're doing, how it's going. I'm, well, I'm, I'm well, and um, our, uh, our province um, is, you know, they just like everywhere else, they release daily updates and, you know, what their prediction is on, uh, you know, how we're going to manage this and what our timeline is. So right now they're telling us that we're going to be probably held tight till the end of May um, until further notice, until they can give us a more accurate update. Um, so basically what, you know, we can communicate with our clients and, um is that we're going to be doing um, probably at least more six six more weeks of FaceTiming and Zoom and calls and drop shipping and curbside pickups and those kind of things. Um, so, and of course, um, I know you had um, received some lovely rain. We're unfortunately still receiving lovely snow um, <laughs> in, in Alberta. And um, the weather is finally, um, uh, you know, the sun's out a little bit today, but it's windy and it's still cool and we're supposed to hit back into the minus temperatures um, you know by easter weekend so i at this kind of point just need any mother nature just to you know while the world's taking a break i just need her to get on board and give us a little bit more sunshine <laughs> i know i know well we had about we we're having about three days of rain and then it goes back to almost 90 degrees so wow. i'm okay with that mm -hmm. um okay everybody we're gonna, I'm gonna pop these up here. And the first thing I'm gonna show here is um, the tips. Uh, I never can get this right. What? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, whatever, anyway. Um, so um, if you would like to get these tips for um, COVID, uh, preparedness, uh, just type in the word tip or tips and it will come to you in your Facebook Messenger. Okay, Dee, um, I, I know, um, you know, the way that we first started our show yes. was really all about veggies mm -hmm. and, um, you know, then it kind of went from there, but, um, <laughs> We thought we would kind of go back and uh, do a throwback Wednesday to um, really talking about veggies and talking about immune boosting veggies. And these mm -hmm. are all pretty simple things that we can get access to during this period of time. And they're super good for us. Mm -hmm. So talk to us, Dee. Well, a lot of times um, I will get folks that will say, oh, you know, it's cold and flu season. And of course, we know what's hitting us right now. And and they always say, well, I really think I should be eating fruit because it has, you know, more vitamins and minerals and vitamin C. Well, our lineup of vegetables today has more vitamin C than, than fruit does, and especially when we get to the peppers. So um, we can do some nutrient analysis if you like, but your vegetables for um, your key vitamins and minerals, um, they, they're the bomb, that's where they're at. And they, they don't have to be um, 
long, laborious recipes to be delicious. They can be so simple and so versatile. And the first guy up here is spinach. And it is actually sauteed in a fresh garlic sauce. Um, so two things that are super immune boosting. And then you will see that this wilted spinach in the garlic sauce is going to be a stuffing for a chicken, my baked chicken breast, um, which is absolutely delicious. So of course we still want you to eat your healthy proteins as well. But something like spinach, when you buy a bag of, so there is the, the garlic sauce um, with some real rosemary infusing it. Simple, delicious, something that you can make in minutes in a pan and then store in your, your fridge. The whole family can use it, not just yourself. Um, one of the great things about spinach um, and garlic for those facts is that, you know, you can have them both fresh in the fridge. If you're not getting to it before it turns, fridge fridge spinach freezes beautifully um, and it can be used in smoothies and shakes and omelets and frittatas and stir for fast stir fries and fast side dishes um, or as a delicious salad of course um, when it's fresh um, so really simple really simple and um, a little goes um a long way i just they're just really versatile and really healthy for you so there is the garlic and spinach um, inside the stuffed chicken and i accompanied it of course with um, immune boosting red peppers so red peppers are a powerhouse in our nutrient department and those chicken breasts that you see there plain whole simple white chicken breasts stuffed with our delicious spinach and garlic and then they are actually brushed. These ones were brushed with Dijon mustard and coated with um, crushed nacho cheese um, protein chips. And half a bag of chips easily covers one large breast, um, even a little bit more. Um, so you can make multiple servings for multiple days or, you know, split it in half. Um, you don't need flour, you don't need eggs, you don't need to mess around um, with a ton of ingredients. You can make a really, really super tasty um, decadent supper really quickly. Mm -hmm. Well, I have to tell you that um, anytime you say nacho chips, that's like, <laughs> that's my my gig. So, you know, I, um, I love the, the chip flavors that we have now with um, Ideal Protein and mm -hmm. particularly my two favorites are ranch and nacho. Yeah. So if those are your favorites or if you have a favorite, tell us in the comment section, what are your favorite crisps? And um, so what you do D, with this is you're crushing it up then and and how yeah, are you I dump the chips into my I have a ninja. I don't know if anybody is familiar with a ninja, um, but it's really old, but it's probably one of the best appliances that I ever had in my kitchen because I can't kill it. So it's really because I'm really good at that. You guys, I, I burn things out and and abuse appliances. So my ninja. Um, has um, stood the test of time and it has a small it has a small um, piece to it and so I just chuck the bag of chips in there and it zips it to a to a fine powder um, really really quick and so instead of breading and egging and then coating I simply will use um, a whole food mayo or a Dijon mustard brush that on the top and sides of the chicken breast once it's stuffed and then just plunk that face down over the crumbs, pat it up over the side, and then place it back onto the baking sheet. So the bottom of that breast isn't covered, but it doesn't need to be, um, because as you're slicing and cutting into it, it all the flavor is, of course, um, all the way around it. So it's still really delicious, and it makes it really, really easy. And so you can still... So, um, D, we, we lost D there for, for a minute there. Um, uh, so, you know, as, as I was talking, talking, pardon? D? Hi. Hi, we, we lost, we lost a whole bunch of, of that. Um, is there, uh, maybe, oh, shoot. yeah, is there somebody that is online right now? If, if we can grab your internet connection. <laughs> okay, hang on a sec. I'll, I'll, I'll check, okay? 
<laughs> okay. Hang on. So, um, Sorry, guys. one of the things, one of the things okay, too, um, that we're doing see? today is we are, um, if oh, you want to type in the right word right? tip or tips, Can you just turn your right um, on? If you want to type in the word tip or tips, you can uh, get a copy of the um, low carb uh, COVID preparedness guide. And that was put out by Ideal Protein. So we wanted to share that with you. Um, all right. So we're going to pop D back up here. And um, Beverly wants to know, how do you make the garlic sauce for the spinach? Oh, it's so it's so simple. Um, we are going to give you the recipes, Beverly, but it's actually um, just chopped fresh garlic cloves and um, oil, your choice of oil and fresh rosemary. And then it's reduced with a little bit of vinegar and um, seasoned with salt and pepper. Um, so you can make as small as batch as you like or as a, a large as one as you like. And what I like about this garlic sauce is that it's a great addition to other recipes as well. So if you think um, you can quickly make a beautiful side dish of spinach, sauteed spinach, Swiss chard, bok choy, um, things like that, or you can add it to soups and chilies and sauces um, for, for some deep flavoring. And if you wanted to use a different herb other than rosemary, um, then you can as well. And so it's actually really neat. The fresh rosemary, the color from the rosemary leaves, leaves diffused through the ginger and it actually, or sorry, the garlic and actually turned it a hue of green. <laughs> <laughs> it does look very... Um uh march 17th ish yes. which we, we we all we all miss saint patty's day this year yeah. Yeah. So, so we can use today as a little bit of a green celebration yeah. um this looked absolutely delicious i am a cauliflower stir fry freak um and i love my cauliflower stir fries pretty much in everything um so well, I'll, I'll mix it with all kinds of veggies, but I do love broccoli. <laughs> yeah. So this is a take on um, so many people enjoy things like chicken fried rice. And this is a take on, so say you've had a super busy day. Um, it all it happens to us all and you come home and you need a really fast supper. So this is actually just... Um, it's broccoli fried <laughs> rice. Now you can use cauliflower or you can use the konjac rice and your protein is actually, oh. yeah. You, no, no, you can use both. It's You can use cauliflower or the konjac, <laughs> konjac rice and you the pro, your protein is actually all eggs. So you know how usually you would just have an egg in your chicken fried rice. Um, well, there's no reason why you can't use four eggs and have it with your broccoli and cauliflower and your same seasonings as you would for chicken fried rice. It is really tasty. Um, it's done in literally minutes um, in your frying pan and very satisfying. And broccoli is in that powerhouse of the vitamins and immune boosting vegetables. And so it's a winner in your lineup. So um, I would encourage you to have at least one serving or more of that guy a week as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, broccoli is way high on my list and mm -hmm. um, love, love, love it in so many different ways. And um, this looks delicious here too. So uh, tell me what this is so I don't type the wrong name. <laughs> it's actually a, it's like a, it's a broccoli Caesar salad is what it really is. <laughs> But like a cabbage Caesar salad, it right? It is a broccoli cabbage Caesar salad. So you're um, you're using a handmade, uh, basically a Caesar dressing, but you're enjoying it over broccoli and cabbage together. Now, those two marry really well because they're both of the same family. And on this one, I would encourage you to use quite a bit of the broccoli stock. So not anything that's um, discolored or woody on the very ends, but... Um, when you buy a bunch of broccoli, the stock is edible, um, highly edible. Um, and so a lot of times folks forget about that. They just lop off the nice um, dark green part and then throw away that middle part. But it is excellent in salads and slaws and um, lots of satisfying crunch. And um, yeah, I it's and again, 
side dishes don't have to be hard um, to be tasty. And so uh, this is just, it's really fast and simple um, and very satisfying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, one of the things I, I, a long time ago, I had a, a nanny who had been a, a professional cook before she retired. And, and that was really one of the things that she taught me was that you do not throw the stalks away. So you, you cut them and, and they're just as tasty and tender as the broccoli itself yeah all right you guys if you are on here live give, give us a hashtag live tell us where you're from um i see there's a bunch of people online watching so um tell us where you're from say hello um tell us what area you're, you're in what uh what weather you got going and uh <laughs> share with us uh, you know this is uh this is a, a a really fun time because one of the things i did on sunday was i had a, a brunch with with my girlfriends and literally we started out doing it for like 40 minutes and it ended up about four hours um <laughs> Uh, we had a lot of fun. Now, this is a dish that you made a while back and mm -hmm. absolutely delicious. Um, let's say hi to Trish. Trish, thanks for jumping on and, and telling us where you're from in um, Mount Airy, Maryland. That sounds really pretty, actually. <laughs> um, and, and anything red pepper, I absolutely love. Mm -hmm. um, red pepper soup is delicious. It's simple. Again, I'm always going to always refer back to those red peppers um, have more vitamin C than oranges. Um, and, you know, you it's actually kind of misleading. But, you know, to get it to get the same serving of um, vitamin C in a supplement, I think they equaled it to something like 35 oranges or something like that. So you're not going to <laughs> um, at all again so yes so red pepper soup you can blend it with cauliflower you can blend it with fennel so you can marry it with a lot of different flavors very simple to make small batches large batches freezes really well um, so again lunch supper you come home um, I'm a big fan of having some meals um, pre-done that you can just grab when when time is is in a in a crunch just so that you're not reaching you know for for filler <laughs> before you can can sit down and have that healthy meal mm -hmm. yeah for sure um so if you would like the ideal protein tips guide on covid19 preparedness for your pantry please um just type in the word tips and you will get that. And uh, we've got to say hello to our friend, Joelle. How you doing? Tell us tell us what's happening in your um, neck of the woods. I know there was somebody I used to listen to that said that. Um, Melissa loves the red pepper soup. And uh, Melissa's uh, one of the owners of Red Cliff Pharmacy, where D is a coach. Um, and uh, Beverly is from Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Um, so yeah, great, you guys. Um, so, so nice to see everybody on here. Um, and, you know, let's, uh, let's, let's tell each other who we are, <laughs> where we're from. We're, we're all at the point in, in our lives where we're, we're hungry with people and, and uh, from, from all over the place. And again, one of my absolute favorites that, that Dee created this uh, year um, with the butternut squash that was added to protocol. And um, tell us about what this is. Spaghetti squash. <laughs> Oh, I know Not that. Spaghetti squash. Oh, yeah. gee, I'm all That's over the okay. place today. That's okay. We don't want to confuse you. Spaghetti squash. Oh, so red pepper sauce. It is so delicious. I. That's it. It's just delicious. And it is delicious over squash. It's delicious scooped up in crackers. It's um, good on its own if you eat it with a spoon um, over other vegetables. 
um, red, if you've never made a red pepper sauce, I would encourage you um, to make this. Um, it, it may become a staple in your in your menu, in your plan and prepping. Um, it is, it, it's really simple. And um, you can choose um, what texture um, you like. So if you would like a chunkier sauce, you blend it down less. So it's all done in a one pan, and um, and then you you can blend it smooth or you can blend it chunky. So very simple, very easy, and delicious. Yeah, yeah <laughs> it, looks, the recipe, right? <laughs> it absolutely looks delicious. Um, mm -hmm. Joelle says, still housebound in New York. Hopefully we're flattening the curve. I hope you are too, doll. Um, and Nat West, uh, hello from Okie Tokes. I love that name, Okie Tokes. And um, Beverly asks, um, the red pepper soup, uh, do we know what page it is on? Um, is that in the, in the cookbook, Dean? Yes. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll have to put it in the comment section. We'll, we'll take a, we'll, we'll comment later on that. And, uh, hi Chantal, um, from Gatineau, Quebec, uh, where headquarters is. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So, um, D these yes. are, uh, these are all our recipes for today. Yeah. Um, I didn't really pick a coaching tip. I've been doing all these coaching, uh, online coaching things, uh, not only with personal clients, but also with, um, you know, on, on the Renee Lynn's inner circle group. Um, so please feel free to join us over there. We've, we've been, uh, all the top coaches that I know are sharing all of their tips. Um, any words for today and kind of, uh, helping people to, Focus, stay on protocol, any any ideas that you have? Well, I I think it is immensely important if you are anybody that is really struggling, um, if you are now homebound um, or working from home and you're finding it really difficult, um, you really need to, first of all, your feelings are validated. So nobody, <laughs> nobody is saying that you shouldn't should not feel you know anxious sad maybe a little depressed um it's a new it's a new normal and it's probably going to be here for a little while so we really have to think about ways that are going to help us function and cope to help us um you know to keep positive but it's really that positivity it's going to also help keep you healthy so if you um you know, are afflicted with anxiety and depression and other types of issues, it also depresses your immune system. And so our number one job right now is to keep our bodies healthy. And we cannot control, we, we personally, each of us can do our part to flatten the curve and, and help stop the spread. But we can't control what's happening in our state, in our country, in the province next to me, we can only control what we are doing ourselves. So it is, I know it sounds a little bit preachy, but things you can control is what is in your house, what comes into your house, the surroundings in your house. So if you're in your home and you don't really enjoy it, <laughs> now is a great time to figure out what you don't really enjoy about your house and what you could do to that space um, to make it um, a little more inviting for the long days. We've all seen the memes and the gifts and the jokes out there about, well, I'm traveling to the bedroom, to the bathroom, to, you know, our destination is, you know, the living room, you know, those kind of things. Um, and so if your space isn't inviting to you, um, Maybe it's time um, to do a little bit of, you know, set aside a little bit of time each day to work on that. Um, you should definitely be setting aside time to do really healthy meal planning and prepping. And that doesn't mean you have to be on a weight loss program. It just means that you're being really mindful of putting really nourishing food into your, into your body because that's going to help your immune system. You want to stay strong and healthy. Physical activity. 
So whether it's walking, doing laps around um, the inside of your house or the outside of your house, or if you're able to get out and do something, it is, it's vitally important. And you can do items like that um, with proper social distancing. I have seen so many creative um, online classes now. So whether you are doing yoga or bar or Pilates or weightlifting, or there's all sorts of online groups that you can jump on and be part of. And, you know, a lot of small business owners, they've, they're moving everything online to stay in contact with you and reach out. So take advantage of that. If you can still support your community, please do, because that is what is essential at this time. You are part of your community. You really want to try to stay as connected as you can. If you are working from home and you find yourself really busy and under pressure because you're not used to the demands of everybody else while you're at home, I would really encourage you to keep a schedule. So just like you still get up at your regular time, execute your work at your regular time if you can, and if you are that person who just works too long, you're going to have to set some timers um, for some breaks for proper food and water and um, maybe to tend to. If there's others in your house, they, they might need a little bit of your a little bit of your attention. So things like that become impeccably important. Renee, what do you think? Hi, I totally agree with you, but I'm 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 kind of cracking up over here. Jo Joelle uh, said, um, "Don't get me wrong, I love lights of all kinds, with, especially in the winter. But why do you have your Christmas tree lights still up? Do you, is it a Canadian thing? <laughs> is it a Canadian thing, Dee? <laughs> so Joelle, um, so actually, that's just one of those Costco." Um, birch trees um that I, that I did have up for christmas i didn't take it down and joelle just just so you know this is the truth bomb coming out here if you look back at our shows my christmas tree was actually up until march 8th it was yeah it was <laughs> and so um i might be an anomaly but a big part of my life is not being at home i'm usually on the road every single weekend and that is truth I'm gone all the time and my evenings are usually um, running here there and everywhere and I am a procrastinator Ray knows this um, we're all procrastinators <laughs> we, just um, do, we do it in our own ways but we're all procrastinators in some um, way shape or form yeah and so you know when I would get home from the weekend or you know when my day was done I would look at that thing and I would say I just, I don't, I just, I'm not mustering up the energy to deal with you right now and you don't bother me. So you're fine. And so that's how I triage things if it's not bugging me. And unfortunately, um, I have a home that's been under renovation for a long time and, and it's an old house. And every time we do something, we run into really big problems. And so I folks with all the cooking I do, I need a new kitchen. But unfortunately, we had, show us. <laughs> we had walls <laughs> that were supposed to come down and where that awful two by four is, it's a bad angle. Um, but um, that's where my new island is going. And oh, of wow. course, yes. But so I, Renee's getting a new island too, which I'm ever so envious of. <laughs> and, um, but when our wall was supposed to come down, when the drywall came off, um, of course, there is no load bearing beam underneath that wall. So I can't take that wall down. Now I have to have a load bearing beam installed. So it's just a normal part of my everyday, whatever. So the tree was much, you know, more pleasant to look at than the two by four. So it just, I was like, I'll get to it. I'll get to it when I get to it. And um, <laughs> yeah. And so, you know, I would rather cook and I would rather do cooking shows and I would rather go to work and I would rather, you know, find all sorts of things to do than that. <laughs> I, I think we can all relate a little bit to that. Um, Annette says, I still have my fresh pine wreath on my front door. I usually keep it there until Easter. Not so fresh anymore. And uh, Joelle said, uh, I, I was laughing because I was thinking you have a tree for every season. <laughs> well, kind of. <laughs> I, I have another birch one over there. I, I, um, I, I, I love, I love, uh, you know, flowers and nature and, and all, and all that kind of wonderful stuff. And 
I, I don't know about you folks, but it is, uh, we always get a spring storm in Alberta. We always do, whether it comes horrible in March or April, sometimes we even get them in May. But this winter is kicking our butts. And, uh, you know, the other morning we woke up to fresh snow again. And I'm like, I'm done, Mother Nature. Like, the world <laughs> is actually giving you a break. I'd like you to reciprocate. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. Well, you know, just a little humor for, for all of us that are, um, you know, sitting at home talking to each other and, and, and not talking to anybody else. <laughs> Um, uh, from our heart to your hearts, from our homes to your homes, um, this is such a great way for us to share together and um, connect. Yeah. And uh, Dee and I have been doing this now for May will be, I want to say, is it two years? Yeah. <laughs> we've been uh we've we've been doing this for a while you guys and um d it you know comes up with fresh stuff every week and um i you know i just run the cameras so um i'm always uh you know um if i have anything to say um as we keep kind of getting more and more hunkered down and more and more um kind of rules set in front of us. Um, just go with it. Yeah. Be positive. Um, you know, now we're told that, you know, if we don't have a mask on, we don't have gloves on, we will be fined if we go to a store or we go mm -hmm. anywhere uh, in, in our offices. You know, normally in my office, I feel safe. Um, but we we have to, you know, have a protocol. So um, let's just go with the flow. Yeah. Um, and and, uh, you know, again, as we talked about last week, don't skip your online um, meetings with your coach. No. No. Call your coach up, whether it's by phone, it's by Zoom, um, you know, whatever platform um, they have to use connect with your coach. That's our, that's our accountability. And, you know, sometimes I, I have a client that's just like, Hey, I'm just checking in. Um, uh, I've, I've got everything down. I'm going to place my order online. It's all good. Thanks. Um, you know, I'm folding socks with my daughter. That's cool. Yeah. But you know, at least check in with your coach. So everybody yeah. have a fantastic week. Stay safe, stay well, stay out of the stores. Cook up a storm. <laughs> yeah, um, you, if you can use your grocery del delivery services. Um, if you must go out, go go out with purpose. Um, be safe. Um, just be one really, person. Just one person. person. Not your family. Yeah. I don't want to be preachy, but it. <laughs> yeah. um, and, and and you know what? If you and if you have the power, you know, if you know a single mom in your world and you know what you can go stand by her vehicle so that she can go in and and run by and get things you know without you know touching her kids or you know doing just little things like that can make the world a difference um to folks that are you know um that are struggling in different ways than 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 we are and um you know and and most of all try to worry about yourself doing the right thing and not being too critical of what others um, cause you, yeah. you just don't know, um, what they might be dealing with. Um, you know, unless you were the gentleman that reached right across my arms the other day to grab peppers when I was, you know, putting stuff in my bag, I will tell you to get six feet back from me. I just, I just <laughs> will because I'm, I am that person. <laughs> and, um, you know, I did mention, I'm not too sure what part of six feet you don't understand, but I was here. You need to wait. <laughs> um, <laughs> and he was my elder. But not that you know, but still young enough to to get it, and and uh, you could tell he just he was just like, oh, oh, okay, like you know, yeah, we forget, we forget, so we we do have to you know give people space. Yeah. Okay, everybody, it's happy. a wrap. Oh, happy <laughs> Easter! Oh my gosh, happy we didn't even Easter. talk about Easter. You know what? D is going to be posting some Easter recipes, so watch for them. Um, go back. Go back in the shows and look at last Easter great recipes. If you're on yeah. Dee's recipe group, 
go into the units and uh, look for recipes. So there's lots of Easter oriented and holiday oriented recipes. Look at any holiday show. Yeah. Okay. And if, you, and if you need to throw Easter out the window this year, like honestly, like it's not a big deal. A different tradition, it's not a big yeah. deal. It's going to be there next year. And uh, Beverly, leave the, leave the candy in the store and just uh, eat the good food. Yeah, absolutely. You don't, you don't do not go to the store for candy, folks. No, <laughs> I watch up, yes. Window paint, yes. No candy. Uh, okay. Early page thirteen. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Talk to you later, everybody. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>